uh, under the table, if you will, and I think uh, one of the things that I have been uh, proposing for some time is uh, they need to send a message to Assad uh, in Syria. Hello. We sent one to Gaddafi in, in Libya back in 1990. Hey, Kevin. How's it going? Yeah, it's been a long time. Really? Really, that's great. Okay, so uh, yeah, see you on Saturday. Bye bye. So, uh, who was that, honey? That was uh, Kevin, my old high school friend. I told you about him. He's in town this weekend, so we're gonna meet up. So, you're gonna be with Kevin on Saturday night? Yeah. You could have checked with me. I need to check with you? I need permission from my wife? What are you, my mother? Well, you know, if one of my friends called and tried to arrange something for the weekend, I'd at least talk to you before I said yes. Now let's look back at what happened in that scene. He arranged plans with his old friend, spontaneously, without talking to his wife beforehand. Why would he? He's a grown, independent man that's free to do whatever he wants to. Why would he consult his wife for personal plans? Asking for permission from her would show his low status and him being not independent. That's not what men are like. She wouldn't see it as asking for permission, per se. She sees couples' lives as intertwined and dependent on each other, so it's only logical to plan weekends together and in accordance with the other partner. Linda would be happy to say, I need to check with Josh, because it shows her involvement and connection with him. The result of all this? She is hurt because she saw his behavior as a failure in closeness of the relationship. He is hurt because he felt like she's controlling his life.